Hey, this is Chubb, and today we're going to be doing an update to one of my older videos, Low Sensitivity Mouse Techniques. Now, I don't really want to make the whole thing again, uh, so I'll just do a quick intro describing what it's all about, just so that I can show um, and make so that it makes sense to anyone who's watching this new. But if you would like more information, check the description for the original video. So, Low Sensitivity. What is the main problem that people run into when trying to use it? And that is mouse mobility. So to see this more clearly, let's uh, let's come, let's say out here and look at the rocket launcher. We'll take our mouse, put it to the leftmost part of the pad. I wouldn't even use this space. We drag it slowly across to the very edge of the pad. And we can see that I haven't turned 360 degrees. I've only turned like 220, maybe 230. This is unacceptable to some people, but I never have to spin more than 180 degrees because if I want to look at the the teleporter exit, I'm just going to go the other way. Like, there's no <laughs> there's no problem here. Like, if I need to, if I hear a sound cue that that lets me think, oh, I need to check this angle, for example, I'm not going to spin around the other way. That's the first thing. So as long as my sensitivity allows me to do a 180 degree turn, I'm happy. My my sensitivity is not too low. Does not classify as too low. But uh, let's see. When it comes to other people, is a practical example of something that they'll struggle with. If they're sort of sneaking around here on this map, get to this position. Well, maybe maybe more like this position, and then they hear the teleporter exit behind them. They think, oh no, I need to flick there right now and get a rocket off. Oh no, I've run out of mouse pad space. This is this is a massive weakness. Um, I agree completely. But that is why I've... I don't want to say I've designed, but I use a technique. I don't know if I came up with it. It's been such a long time. I don't know if I saw it somewhere else. I'm sure that other people do it. But whether I came up with, I came up with it on my own, I could not say. Instead of flicking to the location, which is what most people would do, I've trained myself to pick up the mouse, or well, first of all, to listen, recognize what the sound means, ah, that position, I pick up the mouse, place it down on a specific part of my pad, flick quickly to my home position. That is the, <laughs> that is the process in its, in its entirety. The ending state is that my crosshair is exactly where it needs to be. My mouse is still flexible. I can go further if I need to. I'm, I'm, I can respond to a threat um, you know, heading off that way. If my opponent immediately cuts up here, I have the ability to chase this far. And then I can recenter and cover this, uh, cover this angle or come down here and cover this angle, anything. Like, I have the flexibility to do that with this, you know, restrictive sensitivity. So what's the process again? Just to say, <laughs> just to state one more time, instead of flicking to the target location, wherever it may be, I recenter my crosshair by picking up my mouse and putting it where it needs to go. This way I'm ready to fight straight away and I'm flexible. Now, how do you build this into your play? First of all, if you want, you know, if this intrigues you and you want to now drop your sensitivity, I recommend that you start with whatever the width of your pad is. So for me, the width of my pad is approximately, if I go to my settings, it's approximately 0.8. And we can check it by seeing what my 360 is. So from this position, leftmost part, it's a little bit, it's a little bit higher than it needs to be. So let's say 7.5, whatever. So on a 43 centimeter pad, this is a pretty reasonable sensitivity. So this means that if I'm in the center, I can flick it, I can flick out. It's actually a little bit higher than what I would like, personally. But from here, I can pick up the mouse, put it down, and flick 180 degrees. How do you, as a person that wants to develop this, find out where to place the mouse? This is one of this is the main skill. So you start in your position, put your, take your mouse and put it in the most natural feeling spot, and then slowly, with no acceleration, this doesn't work if you have 
if you this does not work if you have acceleration another point to that acceleration is a solution that first of all lets you have a low sensitivity when you're LGing but compensating for the um, mouse mobility problems by if you move your mouse faster you will go a different distance um, that is a more complex problem for me to solve mechanically um, having different you know going from point A to point B at different speeds resulting in different crosshair positions I can't deal with that I'd rather manually take control of my um, crosshair mobility problems and and just have a normalized point A to point B at whatever speed that I want um, anyway so from a starting position you push out to find the 180 and so then you look down at your mouse and see where it is this is actually a little bit ridiculous that's I probably had the wrong <laughs> the wrong starting position let's say here much better so here I look down my mouse is in this position and I want to flick it back here so if I were to put it in my home position put it down exactly I don't even know if this is the spot I usually do it by muscle memory but put it down flick back to the home position and look I'm there my crosshair is in the exact place I need it to be if if I need a spin around 180 degrees I can flexible can respond to any threat that occurs in front of me um, the other thing to practice of course is 90 degree flicks so again starting from home position flicking out looking down at my pad okay like sort of this sort of distance away okay cool cool let's put it down in roughly that spot flick 90 degree turn to the left do it again 90 degree turn to the left and how many times can I do it in a row or how many times can I you know, switching directions or switching to 180 and I'm gonna become imprecise because I'm speeding up here you wanna really take this slow really observe where you're putting the mouse and to get a real strong feel for it okay and this will help you once you know once it comes to react you can also the next step oh I hear machine gun I need to be covering this teleporter this jump pad I hear the teleporter I'm covering the teleporter exit I hear rocket or if you hear nothing and you're just moving them through the map and you're just checking the angles as they occur just adjusting, just recenter, recenter exactly where you think the opponent would be. This is actually a little bit far out. I want this to be the case. If you have railgun, this is like really important. It also helps you because you're you're actively thinking which angle is the next one that I have to be concerned about. It was actually this angle, but and if you put your crosshair there as you peek. And then you switch in, or you have your rail out, you shoot him. He's, he's like, wow, that guy's reaction's amazing. No, you're just more actively thinking about where does my crosshair need to go next? Okay? Um, the exercise, once you can do 90 degree turns, uh, actually, I'll switch to Scale Bearer to show this. Just quickly, Scale. So if I just hold mouse forward. Can I only using this recentering trick navigate the map? Ah, uh, that was another 180. I'll remind you that this is—I'm not currently using my sensitivity. This is like much higher than what I normally use, so my muscle memory is sort of betraying me a little bit. It's important not to now look. It can be tempting to just hold forward and then just run around the map. No, I'm coming up to this corner. Before I reach the corner, I have to pick up the mouse, put it down, and then flick at the right moment. Okay? Pick up, flick. This is not just like swimming around with my mouse still on the pad, okay? This is not like this. This is very defined, quick movements to do this. Okay? So that's the essence of what I recommend. To pick up the mouse, like responding to a sound cue. Pick up the mouse, and then flick. To, d to be really practiced at 90 degree flicks, then 100 or and 180 degree flicks, and I think I'll show you one more trick, which is like something that I tinkered with briefly, but I was already good at it. By the time I'd figured it out, um, I'd been playing for, I'd been using this uh, strategy for months. But that is from any position. Let's just suicide wherever I turn up. Take it easy, 
big guy. From here, just go through the different thing items, uh, the items, the weapons. Uh, sorry, the items, the weapons, time shards, just general positions that are on the map, and try to just pick up the mouse and try to figure out the spot to put it down in order to recenter on that target. So let's say I wanted to go to rocket. I wanted my crosshair to go to rocket. This sort of feels right. That was pretty reasonable. Like it's the right height, which is really good. It was more like the armor. From here, I want to get to tribolt. And that's too far. Again, I'm not using my native sensitivity, so my muscle memory is going to betray me a bit here. LG. Um, shotgun. Where is the shotgun? Shotgun's there. Uh, mega. Nail. <laughs> I can even see it, and I still overflicked. Yeah. Um, this is an exercise, again, this is more more advanced. This is once you get at 90 degrees, 180 degrees. This is the active um, being able to put it wherever you want, whatever height, whatever lateral position. Um, and yeah, once you're good at this, you can compensate and be able to use a lower sensitivity that'll let you control your LG much better. And that's the main reason why my LG is reasonable, is because my sensitivity is so low that it's hard to miss sometimes. So I'll just get the LG out. Actually, I can't even show you how good my mouse control is when it comes to slowness. But I have such control over the speed, as opposed to a high sensitivity player who will be shaky and will over flick, under flick, and will have all sorts of issues. It's just a lot easier to control um, a low sensitivity setting. So I think that that's plenty to go on. If you desperately need more information, check the description. There'll be a link to the original video where I just use words to try and describe what I'm talking about. Um, you could also just skip that and ask a question in the comment uh, comment section and I'll respond. I'm quite active. Um, yeah. Also, new mouse cam. So let me know if there's anything you want to see. I plan to do a, a video where I run around a slash so that you can watch in slow motion at how I'm actually navigating the map, like am I picking up and lifting every single time, is it sometimes, etc. Um, yeah, I uh, hope that was helpful and I'll see you later.